Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, um, episode 7 within our Rails application here that we're building out. So we built out our first spec, and it's nice to run those locally, but in the long term, we want to be running those in some kind of CI or continuous integration environment. So we'll be using GitHub Actions because it's nice and free, and it's pretty easy to set up. So the only thing we're going to do right now is have it run our specs, but you can set up GitHub Actions to do a lot more things, and we may do those in the future. But for now, we just wanted to push it up, and then you could see if the code that you pushed passes your tests, and you can merge it or whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and start looking at the code. So first thing we, or I need to do is I need to update our database.yaml. So we've added this password and username to Postgres password, or you can call this whatever you want. And that's going to be necessary because when we're running our, our specs and setting this up, it's going to be expected um, within our application for the CI runner. So we're going to create a new folder, .github, and within that, for, uh, another folder, workflows. And then we can create any file you want and call it .yaml. Let's walk through what this file has. So it has the env here, and then within env, we're going to have a Ruby version, that Postgres user and password. We're just going to do defaults. And then the DB name, which is going to match the DB name from the test environment. And then devise JWU secret key, which we'll come back to in just a moment. We have a name for this, this uh, runner, this job. And then we define on. So this is going to be an array of when does this occur? Uh, and then what jobs happen? So the first job we'll have here is called RSpec test. We'll just name it RSpec. We can run it on different platforms. So we can define a specific platform here, or we could say something like Ubuntu dash latest. It's going to run a service, which is going to be a Postgres service, uh, grabbing the image from Postgres latest and running a port 5432, which is the normal port. You can override that if you have a different port. Um, and then we'll be passing in from this environment variable up here, the Postgres user and Postgres password. And that's what this syntax is right here. Then the steps that we're gonna do is we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is gonna check out this uh, repo in this specific um, branch or, or a piece of code. Then we'll go ahead and install and set up Ruby with a specific Ruby version. Um, in our case, it's 3.0. We'll go ahead, the next thing we're gonna do is install the Postgres client, and then you define with the run command what it's gonna run. So this is the name and this is what it's running. Then we'll install dependencies, and it's gonna run these two different commands. You can put each of them on a new line. And if you see here, we have just the pipe as a delimiter if it needs to be on there. Multiple, multiple lines. Then we'll create the database, and that's gonna go ahead and run our migration to create the database and then migrate. Then finally, we'll run tests. And this is just gonna run um, our spec, spec, and everything within it. So basically what we do. And then finally, we're gonna, since we have that coverage gem that we used before, we're gonna go ahead and upload that as an artifact um, to GitHub, and we can keep those and look at what kind of coverage we have. So, Let's go ahead and, as I said, we, we're going to look at this. So in order to run certain things like this, we don't have access to that within the application. So we need to go ahead and set this as our secret within GitHub. So let's go look at that. It's here. So we're in our repository, settings, then down to secrets. And you could see you could set up a, it has a name and then a secret. So if I go to update, it's not going to show you, but you can basically replace it with whatever value you want. So anything you want to be here, and this are things, as it says, these are environment variables are encrypted. So um, th this is a way that you can have access to things that you need in your workflows. So secrets dot is available to you with any kind of secrets that are available within that repository. So that's all you need. Now we can go ahead and we save this. We've I've already pushed this up uh, to the branch for episode seven, and if we click over to actions, you will see the Rails spec ran, this workflow ran, and how long it took and when it ran, so I can click into it. And this is the only the only job, so if you have multiple YAMLs, you could check out each of them. And you could see each of the jobs that it did, so setting up and initializing the container. It's going to go ahead and check out our code. 
setting up Ruby and installing that and setting our Postgres client um, dependencies and then of course creating the database, etc. And if we can go look and we can see that it ran our spec with all of our three of our specs that we have and you could see what it provided to it. And then it also says it generated to coverage, just like we knew. And it uploaded the coverage results. So if we go back to our job here, to our summary, excuse me, you could see it has this artifact of the coverage report. So we could download a look at that. And if we wanted to go ahead and look at this, this is just the same coverage as we saw before. So fairly very really cool good now we know that this code can be merged or whatever we want to do with it and uh, continue on to build out a nice uh, automated system that will automatically check all these things so that's it for this episode and uh, go ahead and throw a like on there and subscribe if you will and uh, i'll answer any questions you have too so hope you guys are doing well thanks bye